Welcome! In this video, I will be showing you how to run correlation analysis using Microsoft Excel. To do that, there are just five simple steps you have to follow, which we have already done one. Open your workbook. So after opening the workbook, the second step is to remove every non-numeric character from your dataset. Now we want to run correlation analysis of networks, age, and rank. So network the, the rank the rank is numeric the age is numeric but the network is not numeric because we have space b and we have a dollar sign so we have to remove that so i already create a cleaner version here where we have network age and rank so let's remove the dollar sign and the space b to remove it, just say Ctrl F, Ctrl plus F, or Command plus F if you are using a MacBook. And press space B. When you do that, click on replace. And since you want to replace it with nothing, just click on replace all without pressing anything in the replace with container. Secondly, you want to remove the dollar sign. To do this, put the dollar sign in the find what container. And in the replace with, you are not putting anything because you don't want to replace with anything. Then click on replace all. Now that we have done this, let's move to the third step, which is adding the data analysis to pack. If you come to data, you see data analysis here, but if you are using it for the first time, you probably won't find it in your Microsoft Excel. So you have to come to this file, option, then you click on the add-ins and you see analysis to pack. So you click on this add-in, you click on go and you click on OK. Now the fourth step is that you have to align the data you want to analyze to be side by side. Now I have my networks, I have age and I have rank. It's already side by side. Then the last step is you have to run your analysis. So to do this, I'll click on data analysis. I'll click on correlation. Click on OK. Now I have to fill this form. I have to put the range where the data I want to analyze are. To do this, I can either type the range or highlight the range. So I'll go for the simpler version, I'll highlight. So after highlighting the range, it is grouped by column, as many of you will have it. You can also have data that is grouped by row, where you have your heading at this point, and you have the um, data set in this direction, as against this direction. So, label, if I click on row, you see it tell me label in first column. So, if I click on column, tell me label in first row. So, my label is in first row. These are my labels. So, I just click on it. In the output option, I'll click on new worksheet. So, this new worksheet is going, going to give me the result of my analysis in another worksheet. Then I'll click on OK. Now, this is the result of our correlation analysis. At this point, you have 1, 1, and 1 because the correlation between any data set and itself is 1. Net worth against net worth is 1. Age against age is 1. Rank against rank is 1. And at this point, you have rank against age, you have age against net worth. And you have rank against networks. This is the result of your correlation analysis. To be able to interpret correlation analysis, you need an understanding of what correlation is. You can find a link in the description below to you can find a link in the description below to lead you to the video that I have made to explain what correlation is and how we can use them. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.